Welcome back to another PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to turn this plain old looking GUI text button right here into a more beautiful looking GUI button with just a few adjustments. Here we are inside Roblox Studio and I have opened up the PriceCP Island Jump. If you have followed this series from the beginning, you should have your own copy of Island Jump right now. So just open that up to follow along. Otherwise, you can get a free copy from Roblox. I'm going to include the link to that inside the description of this video. All right, so again, we want to change our text button from a plain old looking text button to a more beautiful button. So first thing we need to do is we need to see our button. So we're going to go to the replicate storage instances, and I'm going to select the screen GUI jump purchase GUI. We're going to drag that and put it inside the starter GUI. Immediately, you see your button appearing at the bottom right hand corner. And you also notice that this button is too close to the edges. So I want to move it away from the edges of the screen. So let's expand the screen GUI, click on our text button and we're going to drag it away from the edges of the screen. Number two is I don't like the square corners over here. So I like to make them turn them into rounded corners. To do that, we're going to add a UI corner to our text button. Now click on the UI corner. Immediately you see the corners are now rounded. If you like, you can play around with the uh, corner radius, for example. Instead of the default 0, 08 here, I can change this to 0.3 and make the offset 0. All right, and you can see it has changed the shape of the corners. Next is we're going to change the color of our button. So click on the jump button and we're going to look for background color. You can choose any color you like. For me, I'm going to choose this color. 165, 0, 0. That's the new color for my button. You can also change the size of this button if you find it to be too big or too small for your game. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to look for a size property. And instead of the default, I'm going to change it to 0.1 for the X scale, 0 for the offset, and 0 0.05 for the Y scale, and 0 for the offset. Hit enter and take a look. Now my button is much smaller. The problem with that is, with the smaller button, the text doesn't fit anymore. So what I want to do is, I want to go back to, to the uh, button, and I want to change the text. So go and look for a text section. We're going to change the text. So instead of saying upgrade jump five coins, we're going to put this description inside the description of the game. And we're just going to change this to say upgrade jump. And it still doesn't fit inside the button. So what I want to do is I want to check this box right here, text scale. And there it is. Now it fits inside the button. Let's go back to the jump button. I also want to change the text color. So we're looking for text color three and you can select any color you like here. I'm going to select this color, which I'm going to enter right now. One Oh seven comma 54 comma zero. I'm also going to change the text stroke color. So again, you can select any color you like. I'm going to select 255, 255, 0. And then you need to turn off the transparency here, the text stroke transparency. You can set that to 0. And now you can see the text very clearly. All right, so that's a pretty nice looking text button. When you're all done, you can just bring the screen GUI to the instances folder. And now let's play test and take a look. And there it is. Look at that beautiful text button. 
I'm gonna go grab some coins. And I'm gonna upgrade my jump power. And there it is, now I can jump. Guys, hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Ah, peace.